everyone, it's me again, Kel and Drew, and welcome back to my channel, for your pilot's learning adventures. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome! My channel focuses on providing educational mini-documentaries made for kids, mostly science or history. And in this video, let me present to you my updated version of the planet Venus. So please stay tuned and I hope you like it. Let's go! The planet Venus. Venus shines so brightly that it is the first star to appear in the sky after the sun sets or the last to disappear before the sun rises. In ancient times, Venus was often thought to be two different stars, the evening star and the morning star. The Romans bestowed the names of gods and goddesses on the five planets that could be seen in the night sky with the naked eye. Venus may have been named after the most beautiful deity of the Pantheon because it shone the brightest among the five planets known to ancient astronomers. Being very close to Earth, Venus was observed by ancient astronomers from different cultures many times. However, the first accurate observation was in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. Galileo saw Venus through a telescope and determined it had faces similar to the moon. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and Earth's closest planetary neighbor. On average, the distance to Venus from the Sun is 67 million miles or 108 million kilometers. Like the planet Mercury, Venus does not have any moons orbiting it. A day on Venus is longer than a year. It takes Venus longer to rotate once on its axis than to complete one orbit of the Sun. That's 243 Earth days to rotate once, the longest rotation of any planet in the solar system, and only 225 Earth days to complete one orbit of the Sun. Venus is sometimes called Earth's twin because Venus and Earth are almost the same size, almost have the same mass, and have a very similar composition. The similarity in size and density between Venus and Earth suggests they share a similar internal structure, a core, mantle, and crust. Venus has been visited by more than 40 spacecraft, the first was Mariner 2 in 1962. Some of these spacecraft include Mariner 5, Mariner 10, Pioneer Venus 1, Pioneer Venus 2, and an orbiter called Magellan. The Russians sent the first spacecraft to Venus. It was named Venera 3 Any spacecraft sent to Venus survives for around an hour only because of the hot temperatures. The planet is a little smaller than Earth and it's similar to Earth inside. We can't see the surface of Venus from Earth because it is covered with thick clouds. Venus is so bright because it is covered by clouds that reflect much of the incoming sunlight.
The yellowish clouds are made of sulfur and sulfuric acid. However, space missions to Venus have shown us that the surface is covered with craters, volcanoes, mountains, and big lava plains. Can humans live in Venus? Most astronomers feel that it would be impossible for life to exist on Venus. Today, Venus is a very hostile place. It is a very dry planet with no evidence of water. Its surface temperature is hot enough to melt lead. And its atmosphere is so thick that the air pressure on its surface is over 90 times that on Earth. It is mostly carbon dioxide gas, about 96%, with some nitrogen, about 3%, and a very small amount of water vapor, 0.003%. Venus also has a thick layer of sulfuric acid clouds. Did you know? Even though Mercury is closer to the Sun, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Mercury is closer but because it has a very thin or no atmosphere, at all the heat goes out into space. Venus, on the other hand, with its much thicker atmosphere, holds all the heat it gets. The carbon dioxide drops most of the heat from the sun. The cloud layers also act as a blanket. The result is a greenhouse effect that has caused the planet's temperature to surge to 465 degrees Celsius. Hot enough to melt lead, this means that Venus is even hotter than Mercury. Pop quiz! What is the name of the spacecraft that first landed on Venus? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Answer It's Venera 3. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And for more videos, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So, see you in my next videos. Bye! Bye!